Today we are going to be doing an updated sleek bang ponytail but before we get started let's get off into this comb this is my branded parting comb okay so I remember buying one off of Amazon it was like ten dollars and it was too fat that point at the end and the point at the tip where you would part it was too fat and I was not able to actually get good straight parts so I decided to come up with my own, which is that nice skinny tip, my honeys, okay? Guaranteed to have you with them parts on the slave side. So with that being said, I always say you take your little metal piece in the back and rough draft your part out, okay? You want it to go here, there, however. And then you take your nice skinny point and then you master that part. And it's so easy with this comb. Like, them parts are straight, okay? I still had to go in and make it not as crooked, but you just see how precise that comb makes those parts to be. And that's perfect for this style and braiding and anything else you may think of doing. So, anywho, into the ponytail at this point. It depends on if you want a deep side part with your pony okay if you want your bang to hang lower then you will go deep side part if you don't want that much bang over your forehead then you would bring that part up a little bit so she's getting a deep one and then i section out a piece so that therefore everything else will be slicked and gelled down but that piece will slick over everything okay so we're kind of uh piecing this style together today <laughs> which is normal for me to do, okay? I always just piece things together and make it work. So I am just making all my sections out because everything at some point will be sleek down, okay? And from the thumbnail, you have seen that I did a little art on the other side. But right now, you don't wanna start with your bang area swooping it all at one time. You wanna get your back secure, your foundation of this ponytail, okay? So I'm parting out everything that I will be using separately. So my back is what I'm about to actually do and make sure that that's the sleekest because that's what's going to stand out in your ponytail is your whole back piece and also that bang, okay? So we'll get to that bang a little later, but right now I'm just going to go ahead and um, build up my pony and get it down. I'll tell you guys the products that I use, but hopefully by now you know exactly what you could use for this type of gig, which is Gots to Be Spray or even the Gots to Be Gel. But you need your blow dryer, you need your brush, okay, and you have to dry each section as you go. That's how you're going to get it nice and sleek on natural hair. Now we know that in order to do this sleek ponytail, okay, you are gonna take your natural hair and straighten it with a flat iron, okay? Just your whole hair all over your head. You can take it, flat iron it out, nothing major. You don't have to do it over, uh, I wanna say 350 degrees, okay? Now if you have coarser hair, yeah, go ahead and hit it with the 400. But okay, once you flat iron the whole head out, and then you try to go in with this guys to be a uh, gel that right there would definitely revert it back to napica okay so i only was using that hoping that it would you know sleek it up and hope that you know it would have worked instead of using the spray but all it actually did my honeys was make the hair soft especially as we were blow dry and i was brushing through it okay so it just kind of made the hair soft. It sleeked it though, but you you want a long lasting style. So basically um, the spray would be a good candidate for that. And then my daughter, she always uh, put goodness to her hair. She doesn't play. If you noticed her hair from previous videos, it was not as long as this. And that is completely her. She makes sure she puts that good product in there. Um, I do however have a nice growth oil that I'm working on my honeys. So we have been using it and it has been working marvelously. Okay, so basically uh, I started off with that gel. That is gonna be the part that I would decorate. So 
we're going to go in with that spray because that spray is like freeze okay you spray it on there it will revert your hair back as well my honeys but you spray it on there um she always talking about how cold it is girl bye you spray it on there you brush it through and then you start drying and it takes seconds and then it's dry and it's hard and it's good to go okay uh, with this style i would recommend that you do not actually grease your hair your scalp itch i would just go in with a nice leave-in conditioner before the blow dry okay that's still goodness the whole time that pony is sitting your hair is still eating but as far as any greasy product it will interact with that got to be gel and the spray and then it won't be as sleek and hard as you would want it it would start reverting so you don't want that okay but at this point this is the swoop side right so I'm busting it down my honeys I'm just busting it down going part by part so that therefore I can smooth it all in and make sure that it's dry. We don't care how this looks because that whole bang will be swooped over that. We do want it sleek and we do want it as flat as possible so that therefore your bang won't look lumpy. Okay, it's supposed to look flat and sleeky, but you don't want no lumpy bang. So that's why I'm breaking it down part by part, piece by piece. We're gonna dry each section at this point. You want to make sure each little section is completely dry okay if you have natural hair and it's more on the coarse side it's going to curl right up okay my honey as you notice her hair is not even reaching back to that ponytail i will go in with rubber bands to kind of get everything you know within that one pony but she may have some short areas that won't reach back there okay so you have to make sure that's locked and loaded that's why i went back in with the spray so that therefore that section would be nice and as flat as possible as well so you don't want to leave it wet you don't want to leave any little hair sticking out because at the end of the day ultimately you will have a lumpy bang so we got to make sure each little part is dry you could use just the spray you don't have to use that gel okay i personally was being extra going in with the gel and the spray because she has a little coarse hair okay her hair usually don't wouldn't take if we don't do these extra precautions okay and it was summertime it was hot you get to sweating with these bangs i tell you it's not a summer hairdo okay and even if you do have it it may last you a couple days to a week and if that's all you're looking for you're fine that's what i would go with but just to have it in you sweating that stuff will be reverting if you don't have it tucked nicely and dry and perfect okay so y'all know i'm using my camera my canon so it always got auto zoom they're always zooming in on the wrong thing but basically i'm just still going through part by part you know getting all that sleek on down out the way because that's our foundation to lay tracks my honey we're going to be laying tracks over that section so with all this product that we're using got to be gel and even that spray i am laying that glue over her hair because guess why when she takes those tracks out and she goes to wet that okay that glue will mix with that got to be gel and it will automatically start lifting and moving off seamlessly okay so that's basically what we um do around here we use product and mix it with a little shampoo and then mix it with some water and then uh simply go in with your wide tooth comb and kind of break that glue down and it comes right out that's why i use a lot of products so i never really had to worry about glue on my hair okay so um She's growing edge back. She's getting everything together with her hair. So hopefully, you know, by next year, her birthday's in April. We would definitely see, you know, a big difference on that. Because we're just working on our hair at this point. Y'all know my hair came out. Do the eczema. I got a video coming on that, my honeys. And do not worry. We will be back to recording every day, okay? We're going to have videos posting every day. I don't have a set day. It's just whenever I post them. But it ain't never got to be this long you know months but um yeah we're gonna make sure we get all this footage out here i got footage to go i'm just not actually sitting down editing these things so once i start editing it and getting what i have out 
Y'all gonna be like, oh, she ain't forget about us. She, this was old, you know what I'm saying? So I have a lot of old footage that's old to me, but new to you guys. So it's coming, my honeys, it, it's coming. Okay, my honeys, are just to add, here go these little pieces that's not actually, you know, reaching back to the ponytail. You wanna spray them too. And that little part up there at the top is where your um, sleek bang will be swooping around. That's exactly what you need flats, okay? Don't play with that section right there. So we're gonna keep spraying and keep drying until that's flat and dry and it's not reverting at all. Okay, so since I use the Gots to Be Gel, that takes longer to dry, my honey. If you just use the spray, if you flat on your hair out and use the spray, you won't even have to worry about it. It's going to dry in seconds, but just make sure that top section is absolutely positively dry in the back where that bang will be curling around, okay, like curving around. And make sure it's flat and dry and boom. By the time you go to lay your tracks and swoop that back, that's going to be the easy part. So we're on our last section at this point, and I'm just going, I'm getting everything sleek. So therefore, when I glue my tracks, okay. So I'm trying to make sure my part is straight because once you blow dry this and have it, you know, uh, flat, there's no going back to it. You know, once it's dry, it's dry. That's it. There's no going back and you want your part straight. You want everything sleek so that you can lay the track over, okay? If you don't have edges like that, swoop that hair down over them edges area, okay? Swoop it down and make sure it's completely dry. And you see how I'm busting that section down, okay? I'm doing the top piece, making sure it's how I need it to be. Since she has thinner edges, you know, I'm kind of swooping her hair forward towards her forehead to build a foundation to have something that that bonding glue could stick to. Because bonding glue does not stick to skin, okay? It may sit there for a minute, but it's not going to last. So you want to be on hair, okay? And make sure that little piece is dry and then once that's good i'll go ahead and proceed with the rest of that section and brush it back and spray it and the whole nine my honey just to make sure it's sleek but none of this you would see it will all be under the bang okay and only piece we're going to use to cover the last track of that bang is the section that you see up there in the rubber band so it's coming along it's coming along as you can see i'm building a style <laughs> And it's going well, so just stay tuned, my honeys. So at this point, you see all that little hair just sitting there looking all sticky and crunchy. We're not worried about that because that human hair that we're gonna glue in is gonna cover all of that, okay? So we're gonna go in with the She Is Bomb Edge Control. Now, you know I've been using the She Is Bomb Wax Stick. I love it, it's, it's really good. And um, when you have leave out with a sew-in or something, it's real good for that. So I said, let me go on and try out this little $11 uh, edge control since it's supposed to be good. And um, it was nice. I liked it. This style lasted her versus when I did it before with um, other products. Okay, so this is not a promotion. They're not paying me about it. I just know my honeys need to know. Okay, period.com. So we're basically just building up the foundation to start her little um, decoration that we're doing over there. So she wanted this style, and I am just basically parting it out, making sure it's accordingly because I didn't want them sections to be too small or whatever thin 
especially since her edge is already thin. You know, I wanted to have something for that rubber band to hold on to and not just her edge. So I had to take it back a little bit and just swoop it and make it look like something. My comb is great for parting, but I hate it for baby hairs because that little point up there, you can't get it, you know? So, and it it just ain't right. Don't, it's not good for that. It's good, but you will see what I'm saying when you purchase at kaleshairandbeauty.com, my honeys. And let me know how you like it once you receive it. But, um, I, also, I switched out combs at some point because the comb is also not heat protected. So, if you go trying to you know, um, go through your hair and flat iron it and then chase it with the comb, the comb will melt. So it's, it's literally at this point for parting. But once I get like my next shipment, I'll make sure that it could be used for everything. Cause I need one good comb. I ain't got time to be having 50 million of them. So I get that. But as far as this style goes, my honey, once we get everything said and done, we're gonna go in again with the guys to be and just kind of secure the style. So any loose hairs that's like, you know, hanging anywhere, we're gonna kind of spray that spray and blow dry it until it is completely dry and it will hold longer and better, my honeys. So I basically, my honeys, just did two, four, six, eight ponies and then I just started crossing them, so put the left to the right, the right to the left, and just combine those ponies all together. And then now I'm just to the point where I'm putting it all into the big pony, so. So I noticed that, you know, I used that edge control, which it helped to sleek those little ponies, but I kind of tried to rub it onto that last little piece so that I could swoop it back into the big pony and it didn't work out. So it became greasy and it wasn't even holding the spray. It was reverting, let's just say that. So that's what we did not want and that's what's happening. So you don't really want to mix this style with any type of grease. She already had grease in her hair and then this stuff then just turned greasy on us. So um, I think it's one of them type of air controls that just has to dry. I don't know. It's just, it just, it became greasy when it was mixed with other products. So it didn't work out like we thought, but we made it work, my honeys. We made it work. Take a moment.
Look at there, my honey. That looks good. Spice that style right up. So that section right there is where we would start. You do not want to go below where your hair is, the piece in the rubber band, or you do not want to actually go above that. Because when you go to swoop it around, it will cover up that track, okay? You want to put more bulk of the human hair in this section, my honey. So when you go to swoop it back, okay, it's not looking stringy and you can't see through it okay you want it to just look like one whole piece swooping back instead of it being one thin little piece okay but you just would start your first track right up there where that section was that that we left out okay and then you just proceed over that it don't matter at this point how you stack your tracks or whatever but at some point i'm gonna swing them tracks around and start you know, bringing it from the forehead on around because you want to have more bulk with your swoop. You know what I'm saying? So you don't need many tracks down here by the ear. Guess why? Because the more tracks you put up at the top, the thicker it's going to appear going down the side where the ear is anyway. So you don't need that many because then you will be looking and see from one side your head look fat as ever. So you don't want a big head with this style. So trust me a little bit of tracks goes a long way here i go i only put this at the third track and i just started to swoop it up okay um, i'm gonna give it a couple of more tracks up in there um like i said i will be putting more at the top though versus down here at that bottom because you don't need it you have made your foundation track in the back where that piece at where the rubber band was at that's you don't go below that or however you know you just keep going up from there and that way when everything is said and done all you're going to do is flat on this piece out again for me because her hair is so coarsey that whatever was going on um it was dribbling so that's that she's bomb stick that i was talking about when you had leave out of any style okay you will put that on there and then it's kind of like a heat protecting also it helps that hair to get real sleek because what we want is for your hair to actually blend with the human. So we have to do whatever we can do to make it look like it's your hair. And that's what we're going for. So we're going to hide the tracks and finesse it. We're finessing in style, my honeys, okay? Everything ain't in no book. Everything ain't got to be perfect, okay? If you know how to lay a track and do this and that and not let it lay you, you can build a style. You can build a style. And you just got to think it through and think, mm, what do I need to do to not have this track hanging or not have this, that, or make this hair blend, okay? And you just try different products, okay? Everybody out here telling you different things to use, that's fine. That's fine. Go ahead and try it, okay? And then once you get the feel of all this is, is grease or all this is, is spritz. Then start using your own stuff that you would think of to use, you know? And then you would say, oh, I like this product better than what they was using, you know? And that's pretty much how it goes. So I used the wax stick. I was never a fan of wax stick. But if you think about the wax stick, that's nothing but that Murray's wax in that can, that, that orange can. You could use that stuff as well, my honey. So it's not like, oh, you, I have to have a wax stick or I have to have the guys to be sprayed. It's what you make it, okay? I am so privileged right now to be able to tell my honeys how this stuff really go, okay? Like, we all watch these videos, we all see what's going on, and no, we do not have to use all the same stuff. It helps to start it off, because you didn't know what to use in the beginning, but now it's like, okay, this all this is? Oh yeah, let me try this, what my mama used to use back in the day, okay? But any help, we're getting to the nitty gritty, and I'm putting that stuff on there, that um, wax stick, and then I'm flattening on it through. It's giving us shine, my honeys, and it's going to blend perfectly with that pony. We're going to comb everything down and to where we want it. That's how you start off a sleep bag. You comb or brush everything to your swoop how you want it. But you're going to do it in them sections, okay? We're going to start with this top part. We need this foundation to be good. So... Don't just go trying to uh, spray everything down, okay? You don't want to spray everything down and then start molding it and then try to blow dry. And, you know, just take your time and break it down. Bust it on down, my honey. We're doing our little part section. That's what we know that we want to get stuck and we want to make sure we mold it to 
however we want it to swoop because once that's dry it's dry you can always go back and re-wet it with the guys to be spray or the spritz and you know um redo it that's how you will redo it just re-wet it but you know who got time for that so it's like get it done the first time bust it down don't rush through it so as you're going around that ear and you're doing all of that i got a video basically this style is just as like the last video so i'll link it and then you can pretty much see um what i'm doing as far as the bang go but this back part here that's your foundation too you need to make sure that's flat you need to make sure that part ain't swooping back to the point where it's going to be lifting or moving and you know you want that as sleek as possible so that is more detail in the other video my honeys and i will link it or leave it down below in the description but now we're moving forward to the actual swoop okay you want to make sure you get your hair blended so you get your small tooth comb and you brush it through and you make sure it's blended and you as you're doing it you want to dry at the same time okay if you are doing it on your own head you comb it through like that and leave your hand in place never move that hand while you blow dry because that way ain't no hairs of yours gonna shrivel back up because you're holding it down flat okay it's underneath your hand where is it gonna go no it's gonna stay in place so it's good to have two people <laughs> but sometimes we don't always have somebody there to help like you know when i'm doing my own hair do you think my daughter helps me no so i literally be sitting here the struggle be real but i takes my time and i works through it my honey y'all leave me a comment below and let me know what you think okay it's more pictures on instagram so go to instagram and follow me if you have not already and also guys check out my website kaleshairandbeauty.com there's a few items there that i think you guys will be interested in and place your order my honeys and i'll have it to you asap rocky at this point in the video <laughs> i will see my honeys on the next one uh, 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 the next one uh, 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 uh. bye guys love you guys mm -hmm.